Ladies and gentlemen, if you live in a car and go complex or an apartment complex, you need to make sure that they don't cut your trees down. You see these trees here? These trees actually will shade and block these units from dangerous 5G. When they put these millimeter wave systems in, these trees will be the protection from these emissions. Right now, there is an agenda to cut all trees down everywhere in the city. Now, you need to be involved in your board's decision if you're in an HOA. If you're a property owner and you own a house that's in an HOA and there are trees that they maintain, you make sure they don't cut them down. Your best defense against 5G are trees, folks. Trees block the signals. This is Southern California. And these trees do a lot more than produce oxygen for us to breathe. These trees protect us from what's coming. And they don't grow overnight. Juniper, mulberry, flowering pear, ficus. They don't, they don't grow overnight, folks. They take time. Now, here's an area that's unexposed. See? Joan Brianna, we're out here in front of the Stanton City Hall, Sheriff's Department Headquarters, Stanton Park, right next to a series of really high voltage transmission lines, but it's also co-locating some microwave transmitters or cellular and other forms of communication. But the reason I'm here today is to document what's happening here. You know, this civic center is not that old, neither is this parking structure. And what they've done, I'll show you. This civic center used to have some really beautiful trees in front of it. And they dug them all out. They've stumped them all. With the 5G deployment, you will be noticing that all public right-of-ways, including city hall and city buildings, will be the locations for the microcell placements. Tree removal is a must. The trees block the millimeter wave frequencies. This city hall had beautiful trees just last week. Sadly, there's a boys and girls club right across the street from this place where children are in daycare all day. But all the trees are gone. Large, mature, beautiful trees. Why, and you can tell how new this facility is, just several years. Why are they digging this up and ripping everything out? Why? Why are all the trees gone? Why are all the trees gone here? What happened to the beautiful trees? Where'd they go? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay close attention to what lies ahead in the urban areas. Deforestation is coming to a suburban neighborhood near you. Trees are a problem to the microwave agenda. Trees block the microwave signals. Trees are something you need to plant as many of as possible. You know, these weren't small trees, folks. They're big. I 
got rid of all of them. Isn't that funny? They want you to do yoga. Well, they cut all the trees down and microwave everybody. Trees are gone. Why? They're not going to expand this. They just built this place. Why are they getting rid of the trees? Why are they cut them all down? You mark my words, folks. You're going to see microcells on this building. You see this house right here? This is what you need to do. You need to plant trees like this everywhere on your property. That's what you need to do. Look at the stump. Look at the size of it. These were beautiful trees. I never thought they would cut these down. There's no reason to. It makes no sense. But you'll notice that all over the United States, they're cutting down trees in urban areas where we need them the most. And the only reason that they're doing it is to make way for the coming 5G. The millimeter wave deployment that cannot take place and successfully irradiate everyone unless they have removed everything that blocks the emissions. That is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. The plan is to remove anything that gets in the way of microwaving you and I. It's just where we are. You're gonna see large, mature, healthy trees, such as these in beautiful, sunny Southern California that provide much needed shade for energy efficiency be cut, at, cut down and destroyed. That's what you're gonna see, folks. Look around, it's happening all over the world. Millimeter wave emissions don't travel far. And they know this. That's why they've gotta put these systems every couple hundred feet in neighborhoods. And they've gotta cut down all the trees because the trees block the signals. Millimeter waves don't penetrate your walls very well. And they're gonna have you put some sort of relay system in your house, don't do it, don't bring it into your house. It always starts with the government, folks. They're the ones, top down, they follow the orders. Ironic because this is where they're supposed to listen to the people when they come talk to them at City Hall in the council chambers because it is our community. If any of you out there see strange stumpings going on where they're cutting down trees that make absolutely no sense, send me a clip. Do some homework on it. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, plant as many trees as you can afford to and you have room to. Your lives may depend on it. This is Joan Briano. Just another warning. Coming to you from Southern California. These are exposed units. The trees are gone. This is what can happen if you're not paying attention and you allow your HOA to chop the trees down. Trees are protection. We need the trees. The birds need the trees. The world needs trees. I'm not a radical environmentalist, ladies and gentlemen, but if we're gonna live in these arrangements, the 5G systems that the government is gonna be putting in, and the wireless company's gonna be putting in, it's not gonna be on private property. You need to wall off your private property with trees and plant as many of them as you can, while you can. Because they'll keep you alive. They'll keep the animals alive, the birds alive. These are, these are the best form of shielding 
you can find. Millimeter waves do not travel far. They don't penetrate well. Look at this, this hedge of junipers. Extremely effective, olive. This, this, this particular complex here, I believe we're in Stanton or Cyprus. See the trees? See how they protect the bedroom windows upstairs? This is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. This is the kind of place you want to live. That blocks the emissions that are going to be aimed at you. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a wall. Guess what, folks? You don't need a building permit to plant trees. You can plant a hedge. You don't need a building permit for it. And you don't have to pay increased property taxes for trees. So plant them as many as you can. This is an extremely important video, folks. You have to understand just how important it is for you and your neighbors. If you're in an urban setting such as this, even though it's Southern California, it appears somewhat picturesque. This is an urban setting. They're going to put these transmitters on the power poles. And you need to have these to block the signals getting to your house, getting to your yards. You need to be able to be outside in your yards enjoying the sunlight without having to be bombarded with these weapon, these weaponized emissions. This is a really good example of what a safe area will be for the coming 5D. This is a very nice complex. You see what happens though? There's a few spots where there's no trees. But you see how thick the covering here is? These trees will knock it all down. Elm trees, junipers palms, you name it. Any tree will do. Just plant them. Right now, we don't think twice about this stuff, folks. These people in the mobile home park don't have a chance. There's no land. They're stacked and packed. But this complex, there's beautiful trees here, eucalyptus, pine, Ficus, carrotwood, elm, palm. Ladies and gentlemen, humanity's under attack. And I'm gonna keep talking about this until there's nothing left to do but leave. Because we either have to turn this around or we have to win this battle. They're gonna put these 5G transmitters on the light poles, on the power poles, on public buildings on all public right-of-ways. I'm walking on a on a, a utility easement and a city-owned easement, folks. It may be a sidewalk, but they can plant trees. They can erect poles and towers here. This is your this is your best line of defense. You're looking at it. What God has given us. You know why these leaves are green? Because of the chlorophyll pigment. And you know what a key component of the green chlorophyll pigment is? Iron. Iron is a microwave absorber. Iron is an excellent shield against the coming 5G. And why not let God's creation work against the devil's work, folks? Because that's what I'm suggesting. Do not let the cities, the HOAs, or the apartment complex is cut down any more trees. Demand a second and third opinion if they're telling you the trees are diseased or they pose a threat. They don't. They're being told to cut them all down, folks. And you can't let them. It's your first line of defense against the coming 5G. And you must understand what I'm telling you. Shielding has now become impossible because they've banned lead paint. It's, I shouldn't say impossible, it's become extremely difficult. But there are things you can still do. 
You can buy EMF shielding paint. You can cover your, your ins the inside of your house with aluminum screens to make sure the trees like these protect the second stories where you sleep. You can get rid of all your wireless devices as I've discussed. But the most important thing you can do, aside from making changes to your house, is you make changes to your yard. Plant hedges, bushes. They also keep the pollutants away. All the particulate matter end up being trapped up by these leaves instead of ending up in your screens in your house. There's a lot riding on what I've just explained. You need to get together and go to your council meetings and make sure the city stops cutting down all the trees in the parks. And you need to make sure that you water the ones you have on your property. Another part of this geoengineered drought that we're all succumbing to is tree death. It's intentional, it's by design. They're burning them down, they're killing off the forests, they're cutting down the trees that they say are sick when they're just going through a dry spell. Wake up, ladies and gentlemen. There are no accidents when the government's involved. The people that run our government are satanic pedophile eugenicists, warmongering murderers, bloodthirsty psychopaths. Look at the foreign policy. Look at the domestic policy. Look what has become of our once great nation. America is being destroyed by design. And what is happening to this country is not an accident. We've been fully deindustrialized. Now, the last thing that's going to happen is the cull. The cull is coming. As we're herded into these living arrangements, we must make our last stand and fight the deployment of weaponry on light poles just outside our homes. Because that's what this is, folks. I guarantee you right there, you're going to see 5G transmissions beaming right into these homes. Now, if they had trees in front of these windows, it wouldn't be so effective. That's why they want the trees gone. I'm not a tree hugger, folks. I just love people. And I care. That's why I'm making this video. So that you can take this information, which is powerful information, and do something with it. And get the word out. That the best defense is not only a good offense, but a good defense, folks. Plant your trees. Water your trees. Take care of your trees. And while you're at it, Plant some, plant some vegetables in, in your backyard. Plant some vegetables in a pot if you have a patio. And plant some fruit trees in your yard. Teach your children where fruit comes from. You know, there's an old saying, folks. If you take care of your trees, your trees will take care of you. This is Joe Briano, folks. Hoping you get something out of this. Thank you.